Oh, Evernote, my old love, how old and boring have you become? How pale and stale has our love become? Are you disappointed by the direction or lack thereof Evernote has taken and wish to switch to another platform, but you were afraid to make the switch because you have so many freaking notes in the app? Yeah, I hear you. I have amassed a whooping 12,000 plus notes in my personal Evernote account over the last 15 years. And like a lot of other people, I am dissatisfied with the direction Evernote took as a platform. But I stuck with it because of a mixture of laziness and fear of losing stuff. But thank God, the landscape of note-taking apps has dramatically changed and there are lots of possible alternatives to choose from. Apps like Bear or Apple Notes have all direct import functions for Evernote. Apple Notes, which is my app of choice, had the Evernote import feature now for some time. But there was one key ingredient missing, tags. Well, Apple Notes had tag support now since Monterey, but importing tags from Evernote wasn't possible. But with the upcoming Mac OS Ventura, finally you can import Evernote notes, including the tags. You see here, this one is an imported note from Evernote and the mail and Mac tags were included. This was the last piece missing for me. So I made the plan to switch this time completely from Evernote to Apple Notes. But before we talk about the process of switching notes from Evernote to Apple Notes, let's first talk about the danger of apps like Evernote and how this might apply to our import project. A phenomenon I witnessed for myself but heard from many others is that the premise of Evernote remember everything is actually one of its biggest problems. Evernote is a great app for collecting notes easily, but curating them is a totally different beast. And this ubiquitous ease of collecting easily leads to what I call notes graveyard. Thousands of notes which you captured easily but never use. Some people called Evernote the place where notes end to die. I totally agree. So, accepting that a lot of those 12,000 plus notes in my system are actually dead notes, I didn't want to bring over everything. I only wanted the notes which are still active or relevant notes for me. The best way to bring Evernote notes over to Apple Notes is via Evernote's E and X export files. There are three ways you can use this. One, bring over a single or multiple selected notes in one E and X file. Two, bring over a single folder in one ENX file, or three, bring over all notes in one ENX file. Now option three, bringing over everything in one file, sounds great, but there are two downsides. One, you will lose your folder structure. Unfortunately, the ENX file does not include the folder structure. This is not a problem with Apple Notes, but with the structure of the Evernote export. Even importing it into Evernote itself will not recreate the folder structure. Two, you possibly will bring over thousands of dead notes. Like I said, I don't want it to recreate the notes graveyard in Apple Notes again. So I had to select what to import and what to leave back. Now in theory, option one, bringing over selected notes sounds like the ultimate way, but with 12,000 notes, that is not feasible. So my decision was to bring over individual notebooks, which I deemed relevant, and recreate the folder structure in Apple Notes. I created a project checklist for this transition. Step one, select the folders I find relevant. Turns out I only need 1,700 notes from 12,000 plus. Looks like 85% of the notes aren't actually relevant to me anymore. From my over 260 folders I had in Evernote, only 28 were still relevant for me. Step two, export the selected folders into individual files using the Evernote export function. Step three, import each folder into Apple Notes and rename the created imported notes folder into the folder name I used in Evernote. The beauty with the new version of Apple Notes coming with OS Ventura is that now the Evernote tags are included. So I can search and filter my notes using the new tag selector and search function within Apple Notes. The import itself went without a problem and since I selected only 10% of folders and notes, the complete import was done in about an hour, including recreating the folders. Now I do have the active folders in Apple Notes and I leave the rest in Evernote, but I downgraded to the free version since I don't need the features I would pay for any longer. I'm really happy with the speed of Apple Notes as well as the way of bringing stuff into it. 
even the famed Evernote Web Clipper is not needed for me any longer. Since sharing into Apple Notes is so ubiquitous and easy and even adding stuff to an existing page is done easily and effortlessly. If you want to learn how to create effective checklists like the one I used for my import project, check out my video about using checklists within Apple Notes. So that's it for now. If you like this video and would get more cool tips and tricks, then please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. See you next time. Bye.